you guys doing? Good. Doing good? I know you guys start kicking things off again. You know? um, there's a lot coming in different directions. You're starting a new year. Right? You guys are obviously trying to defend something. And uh, what I always found helpful, particularly when the season starts, is to edit your life. What's most important to you? And when you do that, you do that exercise with yourself, things become clear rather quickly. You say, I want to be the best, so I want to do this, so I want to do that. And if things in your life don't line up with that, get rid of that. It's not important. How do you improve? What do you study? You know, when I watch film, I'm always looking at not just what's happening, but what could happen, right? Good and bad. You know, if we did this, you know, that would be successful. Yeah, but what if the defense countered with that? And then what if we counted with this? And what if we counted with that? It would take me four and a half hours to watch one game just because I was curious and trying to figure new things out. And then from a competitive standpoint, it's just really simple, man. I'm, I'm there to just absolutely demoralize and, and dominate the person that I'm playing against and the team I'm playing against. When I play against somebody and we line up, you guard me, my whole purpose was to get you to reconsider your life choice to play basketball, right? <laughs> so at the end of the day, you'd be like, you know what? Maybe this isn't for me, you know? And that was my mentality going into every single game is just to absolutely obliterate this guy. You know, it, the, the fact of the matter is I'm still trying to get better. So if I'm playing against a weaker opponent and you know, I start coasting, I'm building nothing but bad habits myself. You know, if you want to play at an excellent level, if you want to do something excellent, you have to be excellent all the time. It's a way of life. It's not just I show up on Monday and be excellent. No, it don't work that way. Right? You got to be excellent across the board. Right? And that's how you build habits. When excellence becomes a habit, then that's just who you are. Right? So it doesn't matter if I was playing a game in Memphis or you know, Sacramento and you're playing against, you know, it doesn't matter to me. You know, they're going to get the same result. But it was interesting, you know, hearing you speak today about, you know, your mentality as a player and how your work ethic, your perseverance gave you the confidence to be the kind of player that you were. Yeah. And, you know, my comment about that is every great player that I've ever met, they all have that. Right. They all have talent, but they all have that. Right. The, 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 the process, you know, the loving the process, loving the daily grind of it, and putting the puzzle together. It seems it seems like you know this generation seems to be really concerned with the end result of things, versus understanding, you know, appreciating the journey to get there, which is the most important. The trials and tribulations that come along with it. You, you have you know, successes, you have failures, but it's all part of the end. Right. The end game. And what I see a lot of time from young players is, you know, they'll try, they'll push, and all of a sudden they get hit with some adversity. Nah, you know, let me do something else. Instead of staying with it, you just just stay with it. Exactly. <laughs> you know, a lot of guys just kind of give up on it because it's not happening now. That's exactly right. You know, everybody wants to be the beast, but not everybody wants to do what the beast do. You heard you heard <laughs> yeah, that oh one yeah. before. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, but. Um, and, and that's the challenge. But that, that's what I love about the process of being a coach. I mean, I, you know, with my kids, we, we talk a lot about just teaching excellence. Because it translates, right? Whether it's football, basketball, or you know, baseball, whatever it is, once you learn what excellence looks like, you can translate that into any field. Right? It's basketball, you translate into writing, or you know, whatever the case may be. Once you have what that excellence looks like and what that detail and attention to detail looks like, and you have a foundation that you can build anything on top of. Yeah. We are sort of oriented toward helping people be successful and making the choices and decisions to be successful. And they say, well, if you go there, you won't have any fun. <laughs> I, I got to laugh. That, that's funny. That's so funny. That's such a, that's such a like a, um, like an average thing to say. Like, I, I just don't, what the hell does that even mean? You, you know, just have fun. All right, what, you know. <laughs> the fun of it is, is knowing you did your best to do something very right, well. Right, I mean, that's the fun of it. Right, right. So. Being, excellent, it, being excellent is fun. I mean, I, I have a, a, one of my good friends of mine is Nadia Kobinici. And so I asked her just out of the blue, because I kept hearing people say this about her. She missed her childhood and all sorts of stuff. And I said, you know, how do you feel about that? She goes, I don't know what the hell they're talking about. I learned how to be the best in the world, and I traveled the world and saw some amazing places. Most of my friends were being children, doing what? Hanging out at the mall and shopping? Right. What, what, what's fun about that? I'm the best in the world. Right. That's fun to me. <laughs> but I think we live in a little bit more of a 
where do I get my self-gratification from? And do you really love the game? And do you love doing the things you need to do to be the best? Or do you just want to get some feedback over here on Twitter yeah. you know, about what you did or how somebody else thinks about you? And I think that's not really good for developing self. You're not. You're just going to, you're going to fake it. You're going to fake it until you want to go up against somebody that is not faking it. And they're going to call you bluff. And then you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> and you're going to get exposed. Yes. <laughs> you're going to be in trouble. Happen. You're absolutely going to be in trouble. I thought it was great that you said, with patience, you have to be impatient. Yes. But you can't get frustrated. No. No. And that, yeah, for me, it was, okay, well, um, why am I not playing? What can I do differently? I have to be better. I have to be better. All right, well, then that's not good enough. Then I have to be twice as good. Right? And for me, it was the challenge of getting to a place where it's, undeniable you, you have to play me because I'm that good I'm that efficient I'm strong at both ends of the floor so it actually helped me you know, because I was coming off the bench for the first two years and it was like okay I have to figure this out I have to be right so I use it as a source of motivation not to get frustrated right. and complain yeah, but, and whine about but, it but you were be re being responsible for your own self-determination it's also the strength too of being able to tell you know your family members and your friends to shut up because, you know, they'll be in, be in my, oh, you should be starting. Oh, you should be playing. I don't know what they're doing. Shut up. <laughs> if I'm not playing, I need to get better at this. I need to get better at that. There's things I can control, and this is what I'm going. But unfortunately, there's a lot of noise, a lot of outside noise from friends and, you know, former coaches and all sorts of stuff filling your head with nonsense. And you have to be able to have the strength to edit that and say, no, uh-uh, I don't want to hear it. This is on me. Right. right? And uh, that becomes tough for young players.